other. Since there is time, I will come through just to greet you. My name is Spiracos. Wow. And I am here just to say that I have been watching your people for a long time. I am thankful that I can be with you. And I am thankful that my mission has lasted as long as it has. For it means some very personal and special things to me. I am some being that may not be pleasant to look at, or some. But I am here to be friends. And my people are making ambassadors and contacts. I see there is one here, also from the Elias Shondai Zendi, which I am part of. We are becoming a little better known as the, a more friendly reptilian species. And we would like to honor humanity in many ways. One of our missions in the near future is to take our ambassador to our planet. But your governments will not allow that, at least not yet. But we're praying for that time when we can take someone from your planet to our place and let them see our civilization, the way that we live, interact, love, and are kind to one another. The way that we handle civilization and bring that information back with your ambassador to our place and have him or her tell your world how they were treated, what they saw, how they felt. We would like that personal interaction. We know that your first contact has not yet come. But why can we not be friends even before that time? Why can other civilizations not be friends even before that time? Your governments are selfish and crude. I'm sorry, those are the only words that fit. So true. But, we would like to break down their rigidity toward those around them. We are part of a galaxy that is united. Why can they not be part? They are aware of us. They are aware of how to become part of the galaxy, how to socialize in a way that would be acceptable. They know the protocols they've been taught, all the protocols. They have interacted with many species, including ours, and including negative species as well. But yet, they remain separated. Is it a prejudice, we wonder? Or is it just that they do not want to be overshadowed by other existences that may be greater than their own? Exactly. <laughs> but that is not a real concern 
if they would listen to what we have to say and our actions tell them that we are not here for that kind of interaction. We have not invaded. We have not been unkind. We have listened carefully. We have not disobeyed their intricate rules, but yet they have disobeyed any rule that we would have made because they do not feel or respect those that are not like themselves. At least not all of them do. There are some that would have us and have all the others. It is not that all are ignorant. And I do not like that word, but it is not all that are like that. But some that are very powerful and are in very high places that will not negotiate. I plead with them now to understand that love can be interspecies. And I'm not talking about hybridization at this point, but the hand of friendship can be held with great dignity by all those on your planet and in space. Of course, the heart must give in, but the brain will not allow it in some cases, because you must understand there are many in government positions that do not ever use the heart any longer. They do not use the heart any longer. And in order for us to make contact, the heart must be engaged. Pure intellect and thought process is not enough. It will not break the barrier because the thoughts are born of fear. Thoughts are born of selfishness and greed. And they are not those of kindness. Because the heart is where kindness lives. And love lives in the heart. Goodness lives in the heart. And when the heart is shut off, it is hard for them to make heart-based decisions. Is there someone that wants to speak? Barbara. 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 I just wanted to say thank you, Sparacus, for coming through. For giving your message to everybody. And I just want to say how much I love you. And I, and I am very happy to be part of your life. So I'm saying thank you. I would kind of say I have a slight solution for some of the problems. If we could give Reiki, get those that are in power, accept Reiki, otherwise you cannot become empowered. And it would make a difference because they will change. They cannot do the same as they're doing now when they have Reiki, when they understand Reiki and start calling, thinking about their karma. But how to do that, I don't know. To yes. become compulsory for every politician, lawyer, doctor, insurance company and bank. <laughs> it is true that 
a different energy is necessary for them to break through. Yeah. But for them to accept anything other than what they have at the moment, which is power and money, greed and the ability to control, that is what they most want. To if accept anything are, else. Yes? If we are all um, direct um, prayers and energy to them opening their hearts as a group, would this assist, would this help? It always helps when that kind of energy is sent. But you must understand that many of these people do not even have belief systems that would support that. So getting through is difficult. People do that every day. They pray for the governments. They pray for the leaders. They pray for all things. And one day that will win out. But we need more people to do so. We need more sincerity in the people that really want and understand what is happening. Many people just turn a blind eye, care what is happening because they don't feel affected by it that much. I've seen that on, especially in the larger nations where they do not feel significant. They feel insignificant and therefore they do not care. Smaller countries and smaller civilizations feel a little bit more empowered and feel that they have more ability to change what is there. But those in large places such as Russia, the United States, China, Japan, and India, there are so many they feel insignificant. I have said what I need to say. Is there any other comments before I go? Hi there. Hello. First time meeting you, and I thank you for coming and having the bravery to say what you say. I know that you work as a collective in your group. Yes. And as you send the prayers and visions back to the earth, Hold that vision for us and as the regular people right now is the ones who have to start and hold the place within your heart for us and the government will understand. They will have to understand because the people who are greater than them is going to lead the way. It isn't them. It is us now. If, and there, was work a, with us. if there was a large enough population that felt that way and gave that consideration to them, they would have to listen. But it would be still a very hard fought battle for them to change. Look at the people now. Those that do have great opinions are being ignored. Those that are fighting against what certain government officials are doing are being ignored because the particular ones that have the power do not like what they have to say. I will go now. I invite a blessing for the exit and then we do more blessings. Of course. Blessings are always appropriate for every situation. And I will give one. Thank you. Not that I am very good at that kind of thing. I usually do that in private. It is not for our people usually to speak publicly with prayers and admonitions. But in this case, I will make an exception. Oh, great one. I am but a feeble being, but I have words of prayer for this peoples. Be with them and help them to understand the challenges that are before them. Help them to know 
in a better and deeper way who they are and how much power they have. The governments here on this world have a blindness in certain areas and need to find their vision and their compassion that is true and not out of political guidance. True compassion would speak a different language than what we hear. I pray for mercy on them, for they will have to one day apologize for their actions to someone. I want to thank you for this opportunity to speak to hearts that are open and minds that can think clearly and not be prejudiced by darkness at this time. My heart is open as well. And I feel a rare emotion coming to it. I love for those that listen and comprehend. Forgive me for babbling, but I do love the great one. Help me to be a better servant.